Oof. Evening. Everybody who signed up, bear with me one second. Uh, I've got to. Uh, I've got to clip in. Oh, it's the noisiest thing you've ever heard. So uh, if you're wearing headphones, excuse me. There we go. Oh. <laughs> it shouldn't be too bad this workout, by the way. It shouldn't be, um, it shouldn't be too crazy. Uh, there's not a lot of rest in it. Well, there's hardly any rest in it, to be fair. Um, but there wouldn't be anyway in a time trial. So that's why it's um, so like short. Bear with me while I type something. My legs are um, pretty soft this morning, I have to admit. Um, pretty sore. You ready for the pain? You ready for the pain? Don't forget. You can adjust the intensity on the left hand side. So that can help you get through if it gets a little bit, um, if it gets a little bit grippy. I need my towel. I need my towel. I get my towel. Oh. Yay. Look at this. A couple of people from the US. It's incredible. Sure, my heart rate monitor is connected. Yep. <laughs> Dave was saying there'd be a few wattage cottages in this workout. When did he say that? When did he say that? Leave my fan on. Make sure you have your fan on. You've got a little bit of fluids next to you, although you won't really need them because it's 
it's just 40 minutes. We're going into a short warm up, very short, just to give, at least give you something that's over half an hour. And then we'll get right into it. So it's probably not gonna be as complicated or as hard as last week's. There's very little kind of red effort today on the graph. Um, but it's still gonna be grippy, as I said. Grippy is a very popular word. <laughs> so it could well get could well get tasty. Okay, even a run. Let's uh, let's have some fun. Let's get it done. I don't know where to put this. No, where can I put this? Seventeen seconds, and we'll get going. Nice and steady initially. Nice and steady. Yeah, there's a little warm-up there, man. There's a little warm-up involved, yeah. But we are pretty much straight into it. Yeah, we got Bully Bill in here tonight. People from all over. It's great to see. So, I'll try my best to run you through the course, but it's not really that complicated. And being that a lot of you will be doing it as a team time trial, it'll probably mean you'll be riding to your weakest rider. Always trying to keep a rider with you any extra rider you have in your team of six will really help just give you that extra bit of rest when you do come into the final part of the time trial they say out on the road in real life the more ragged the team looks the faster you go in but it's like a controlled ragged, if that makes any sense. So when you see them kind of fishtailing across, when they get back into pace line, like they're, they're, everyone's on the limit and everyone's riding as hard as they can. Whereas I've been in team time trials where it's been in a pace line, but you're almost kind of stolen into the back of your teammate because the pace is it being held by the guy in the front? It's interesting if you've ever ridden a team time trial on the road, especially with more than like four riders. We're gonna be doing 30 second kind of surges. It's broken into 30 second segments. Uh, usually that's what we do, but it, it's not necessarily the best tactic. Every team will have their strength and their weakness, and so you need to adjust your team's efforts and individual riders' efforts accordingly. So we're going to have a little opener.
That'll be the first effort off the line. This is, this is grippy now. Don't think it's easy. It's not intended to be. You'll be recovering at quite a high pace in the time trial, ideally. If everyone in your team is roughly the same ability. That's exactly what team time trials are, in a sense. Very much hard the whole time. So this kind of pace here that we're at for this minute, you'll see in the 30 second intervals, you'll be forced to recover at this output, which means you'll have to drink at this output you know, mop your face, you have to do everything because you never know if you'll get tailed off the back of your group or you may be called, if some of you use Discord, you may be called to come through for a turn. I say, yeah, Tyler's just mentioned something in the YouTube chat, it's really important. Basically, start of the team time trial is always manic. It's always a case of trying to find your group or position. And this workout will get gradually harder as we get through, I hope. So it may seem easy now, or at least uncomfortable. It does for me. But it will gradually get harder. As you'd expect it to, as you get closer to the finish, on a course that's fairly flat. If you had to climb, on this course, your team would invest a lot of energy on the climb and then regroup and draft each other on the descent. That would be the fastest way to do it. This section here also serves as a really good warm up. For those of you like me that haven't warmed up, <laughs> That's it, mate, yeah. Hopefully this time will fly by if you all. These 30 watt jumps will make it a lot easier to break it down as well. It's very simple. It's a very simple way of breaking down the team time trial. My heart rate, as a reference, is kind of just plateauing 
but it's making very small waves. Very small waves. This is the course. This is the course that the team talks will be on. Yeah, as Matt says in the YouTube chat, the Condor Drift will be real at the end. In other words, even if we don't increase the power, because you'll have been on it for 30 minutes, you will start to experience overheating, a little bit of dehydration possibly from the sweat as we do indoors usually that heart rate may well rise ok that's 12 stars collected of 62 <clears throat> every time I come into what I'm gonna class as my turn on the front which will be the higher intensity 30 second effort I'm thinking about not kicking hard because you might end up dropping a rider who's come off the front finished their turn and wants to get in the wheels And of course, if you were doing this out on the road as a team time trial, you'd often have a protocol whereby the guy who comes off the front after doing his turn will come back. He or she will come back to the group. And there's almost like a, a split second where you wait maybe two or three seconds when, you, when you're the next one to take your turn because you know it's going to take about two or three seconds for that rider to get halfway down that group and you've got to give that rider enough of a chance to just slot onto the back chances are if you push really hard at the front that rider is going to have a hard time to slot back in so it's just a case of waiting just two seconds to give that rider a chance to get back in line. I can see a rest period coming up on the horizon. Can you see it on the left? A 30 second rest. Oh, don't worry guys, we'll, we'll get into the red in a bit. That's it, Matt, you got it. It's a very short rest. And by that point, we'll be on the climbs. The aqueduct, not really a climb, but it may well cause some teams some trouble and that's where our first little block of red will come in as we kick over the aqueduct not that we're anywhere near it now because we're on group workout mode but you know what I mean
I'm a bit ashamed to say I have to caffeine up for this one. <laughs> Even though it's late in the day, I have to get some caffeine in me to get me through it. Okay, quick little sip. You're not going to have much chances to do that. Hey Zach, how are you doing? How are you feeling after your six hour ride this morning? <laughs> okay, just one more hard surge after this one. And we've got a short bit of rest. To so get through this one, and the next surge, and we're at least halfway through the workout, technically. And the time fell too. As most of you all know, who have ridden the team time trials, there's very little time spent in zone one. You're either on the front, or you're recovering in the wheels. And recovering in those wheels usually takes something in excess of zone two power. It's why they're really popular. Because you really feel like you get a good workout with a bunch of mates. Come on, last one. Then we've got a quick rest period. Here we go. Winding it down. Now's your chance to drink, mop your brow, and turn your fan up a bit. <laughs> if you can. My heart rate doesn't like me at the minute. It's staying elevated. It's letting me know. That we're about to dig deep to help our teammates get through the next section. So even though it's a short, red effort coming up, <clears throat> it won't feel, technically 20 seconds is not a long time. You gotta remember you don't wanna drop your teammates. And you also gotta remember that you're only halfway through. What are we saying guys for uh, choosing equipment for Tuesday? What do we think? Stephen asks in the YouTube chat. Keep that power up. Come on. It's only a short one. Get through it. Recover. That'll get you 
technically over the little climb that is the aqueduct viaduct whatever it is I see a little surge and this section now is where technically you'd be coming off that little KOM and on the little descent and remember the descent even though you know it is the fastest team to the finish you've got to be careful descent nearly everyone will be going the same speed give or take and if you use it right you might well get a handy little bit of recovery so you can invest when it gets a bit more undulating later on when you've got a lot of recovery uh, My heart rate's only just come down a little bit. But we're under 20 minutes to go. And we've still got a little bit of a cool down added with that, so. We've all got this. If these red efforts are putting you under a little bit of trouble, don't forget you can knock the intensity down just a tad. You know, one or two percent will knock you 10 watts off, so don't be afraid to use it. That's what it's there for. And we're through. Quick 20 seconds, 20 seconds rest. And we're straight into another red effort. Which gets us over the little lump where the sprint segment is. Far beyond where we are right now. It's just a lump. But we do want to keep momentum over it. So that's what we're going to push through. Here we go. It's coming. And quick recovery. Like I said, these sessions, ideally, you know, they work both ways. So the fittest of you, you know, should be able to complete the session and, you know, you should be able to train tomorrow or whatever it is you want to do. So they're not meant to be full gas, like the actual team time trial. It's designed just to replicate this slightly. And of course, those of you who are like me, kind of coming back from illness or injury or just generally have, you'd be competing in like the D's and C's categories. You know, this, not gonna lie, you know, it's gonna be a hard workout. It's gonna be a hard workout, but it's definitely helping you. And hopefully picking up on a few things as well from the people in chat or uh, maybe something like I said only 16 minutes to go my heart rate stabilizing we're still not low 
Here we go. Keeping the speed up for your team. And we recover now. This is it. It's all in now from from here on. There's lots of little 30 second hard effort and the recovery is gonna be non-existent. So we're gonna be digging in now. I don't think I'm gonna be talking much. Full concentration. Like I said, we've only got 15 minutes left. We don't let the team down. And we also wanna, if we're gonna be one of the riders that sacrifices ourselves, we wanna be doing it. Oh boy. This is where we make the difference. Everyone sat at home, just watching. <laughs> oh, okay, you might be getting fit to by osmosis, but. <laughs> Get ready to dig again. Up, up, up. Spicy is the word. It's getting a bit grippy now. We've still got a couple more efforts to do before we finish with a bang. So this 30 second surge is just keeping us in the line. Now ideally in a time trial, there'll be lots of spiky efforts, but it's the only way you can exactly replicate it. So, this is moving us to the front, and this effort coming now, bang, we're into it. We're on the front. I can see the end. I can see the rest interval. There are only three more 
efforts to go. Heart rate's coming up now. This is the highest my heart rate's been in this session. Ten minutes to go. Here we go. Only two more after this. Not supposed to be easy. There is indeed a sprint at the end. There's very little typing going on in the Zwift game chat. Which is a good sign. Okay, two more to go. And then we're into the finish. And we'll have a little sprint again just for fun. I am indeed dripping with sweat. Here we go. One more after this one. I am at home and dry. I'm gonna take the win, obviously. Funny thing is, this block is really short. Look at it. We've only done five of those surges. Oh my oh my. I'm not recovering. Yeah man, my FTP has gone up. It's gone from 309 to 322. Cheers, Tyler. Thank you. It's getting there, Matt. It's getting there. Last effort, guy. Last effort. Here you go. Let's max out that little mode. Push it. Okay. And so. We now recover. Uh, Tyler, uh, Zwift, sorry, Strava estimated FTP, WKO, intervals ICU, and exert all said roughly 320, 325. So that is after the, uh, the race on Tuesday. Lionel Sanders is uh, 
The live stream was good. I jumped in for about a minute or so, and he gave me a shout out. <laughs> we do indeed, Angel, we do indeed. All right. The last few efforts coming up. These are going to ramp up slowly and steadily. I'm going to switch erg mode off just before the sprint. And I'm going to give it a sprint to see if I can do over 620 watts for 15 seconds. That's what it says for me. <laughs> That's funny, Adrian. Actually, <laughs> I can't. That's not gonna happen. I can't get into the big ring. So that won't be happening. Get ready, gang. And Feel free to stop, by the way. Oh, oh my word. Oh my word. Oh, my legs are shredded. My legs are shredded. It did genuinely seem a lot different on paper. <laughs> yeah, so... Yes, yeah, so that's a good question actually. Like, I mean, there's no, there's no real right or wrong way for you to pace the team time chart. Um, but it's certainly like,
Um, I mean, 30 seconds is generalizing it, really. You're looking at like, as long as there's a distinction between your turn and somebody else's, it doesn't really matter. Uh, oh. But yeah. Yes, Dan. That's a big enough day. Oh my, that's yes, yes. See you next week, gang. Thanks for joining, I appreciate it. I really do. Oh my word. Don't look at that. Don't look at that, that's savage. <sighs> Cheers, Graham. <laughs> Cheers, Graham. Thanks, thanks, mate. Fifty-three TSS. Yeah, I got sixty TSS, but my FTP is a little bit, um, a little bit different. Yeah, there's a che cheeky bit of heart rate drift there, everyone. So. I don't know what yours looks like on your screen. I mean, it should be identical, isn't it, really? But um, I was using Erg mode. That's why it, it's so um, it's so arty because I was using Erg mode. Um, I turned it off uh, for the for the cooldown. But uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, that's that's obviously a distinct change of pace there. Um, And uh, hopefully will serve a purpose. Blimey, it's chilly in here now. So yeah. Uh, <sighs> Cheers, Philip. Cheers, Monsieur Rolle. <laughs> more than more than that. It's che cheeky after this one is right, yeah. Um, I'll take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Da, 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 da. No, I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate you joining. It's uh, it's good crack. It's good fun. And I can't remember to take a screenshot. There we go. I've done it. Um. Yeah, it went well. Doing some pizza after today. Um. Whew. Looking forward to the team time trial on Tuesday. Um, I wish you all the best of luck with it. Uh, hopefully it's given you like a little bit of a model to kind of go away and think, you know, what's going to be, what's going to be the best for, for your team, you know, because what's best for your team, you know, won't be the best for my team, um, you know, because you have to play to your rider's strengths and weaknesses. Um, and yeah, just, re just remember to, you know, try and keep everyone together on the, on drags, you know, you'd be surprised. And there's a lot of undulating in that final section, uh, but a fast run into the line. So, you know, the fast run into the line should probably be, I mean, it's self-explanatory. Like, you're going to be going quite fast. Like, everybody's going to be going quite fast there. But the undulating sections, you know, you're going to have to be, um, you're going to have to be switched on uh, for sure. So, uh, oh, nice, Simon, nice. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Hey, Jason, how you doing? So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for tuning in. See you on um, see you on Tuesday, probably. Best of luck, and uh, we'll see you. Well, we will see you next week as well. We will see you next week. Don't forget to spread the word. Uh, we'll be there next week. Should be a tasty one next week for the Innsbruck KOM. Yeah, the Innsbruck KOM. Uh, it's going down. It's going down in the workout. We may not take it down in the race. It's going down in. It's going down in the workout. So, <laughs> thanks everyone. Cheers, Richard. <sighs> yeah, I'll uh, I'll post the thing. I'll post the workout down below, um, so you'll be able to come back to it. So, thank you everyone. Uh, 